Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So for today's video, it's gonna be, I guess, kind of like a get to know me. I asked my followers on Instagram to ask me some questions and I'm just gonna go ahead and just answer them. Um, yeah, I actually got more questions than I expected. So thank you to everyone who asked me a question because that gives me more to talk about. So we're gonna start with the first question. So the first question is, who are your best friends? So, Honestly, like I have had one consistent friend since I was like in the second grade I met her and then ever since then like she was just someone that um, I lost contact with for a couple years and then later on I found her again and like ever since I found her again It was just like back to like normal I guess back to like when we were in second grade So I have several like friends that I care for and that I think care for me but like i guess one that i talk to on the like normal basis like almost every single day that would be karen she's someone that i talk to all the time that knows everything about me i like go to her for my problems so i guess she would be my best friend i, I consider her my best friend and um my boyfriend as well i think my boyfriend is honestly my closest friend i spend the most time with him he knows everything about me so those two would be my best friends. Next question. But I have a lot of friends that I do care about. So if I didn't say your name in this video, um, you know who you are. Like, you know if you're important to me. So, yes. Next question. My friend Karen asked me what it's like being so pretty. I'm not. She is. So I'll move on. Um, the next question is, do you want to go to the gym with me? Which is from Karen as well. And yes, I do. Actually, we have a trip planned for June. I don't really know how everything is going to work out with the whole virus and everything that's going on. So I don't even know if we're going to still be able to go. I hope by then everything calms down a bit. Everything's better. But with that, you know, people should stay home. People should be careful and preca um, take precaution. So... If we do go, then, and hopefully this ends soon, we can start going to the gym because I need to go for a trip. Next question. My friend Wendy asked me, what is your favorite memory of us? Um, uh, I think my favorite memory with my friend Wendy would be one time where she picked me up one day from my house and we just went to go eat and we just like spent like hours like talking in the car like I think when you have those like car conversations with honestly like whoever like they're just like different they're different than texting different than anything else so I think that would be my favorite memory with her is just talking in the car with her for hours I think we got Jack in a Box that day and we just talked and talked and talked and we caught up because I hadn't seen her in a while so that would be my favorite memory with her says what made you become a social media influencer and how has your experience been so far um i love this question thank you for asking me this question um i'm actually not where i would like to be obviously like i would want to like be working with more brands and everything but like who wouldn't but like basically what made me want to even like start being a beauty influencer is like the fact that i love beauty um i love I think there's like a certain like um how do I explain it like there's this way that like the beauty industry has always seen women and girls and I would love to be something that's different than that I know that there's a lot of people who are like trying to change that and trying to um like change the idea that all women have to be this or that or can't be this and that and I would love to participate with that like I would love to um, pretty much like spread self-love and a self-love like awareness all of that to like all the women out there everybody out there actually just everybody in general um so I think that's what made me want to start is the fact that like I have always had I have always cared for other people I've always cared about um like just like yeah like I've always cared about other people and like the fact that like I can do this and like if I one day have the platform that I hope to have or even with the platform that I have now even if it's not as big as others it's still like I still um, am able to reach out to other people and 
just the fact of like that being able to share my experience with other people my journey with self-care my journey with all this stuff and also like being involved in beauty and everything i think that's amazing um i don't know if any of that made sense i hope it did but that's what made me want to start doing this and also the fact that like i'm really tired of like eight hour shifts um at like a fast food place like i worked at two fast food places before where i'm working right now and i just hated it i hated being there um i just don't think that that's for me so i wanted to try to find something that was different than that something that worked with me that was made me happy because in the end like yes like you know you have to work and you have to make money but i always like i started believing like not too long ago that there's so many other ways to make money where you can do it being happy you can do it um doing something that you love and it doesn't even have to be like you have to go to a university and finish and then finally you'll love your life and love your career because i just don't think it's like that i think that you can find a job and love what you do and not even go to school i am going to school but that's like a whole other conversation i just think i just realized that you don't have to to find something that you really love to do and make a really good income off it as well because a lot of beauty influencers do make a good income next question i hope all of that made sense but next question um what is your what's your major so my major is pre-nursing i'm still currently trying to get into a nursing program um i'm just retaking a class that i did fail so i'm retaking that class and then hopefully i'll have a chance into a nursing program but we'll see how that goes we'll see um what happens um so far i'm not really sure what I, if i want to continue um i know i want to do something i just i just don't know what yet but honestly like i do love the idea of nursing i want to be there to help people like I want to do something with my life that just helps people and I'm actually very interested in it very interested in what we study and what the human everything like but I don't know like I'm just at a point where I'm trying to figure out what I want so my major is pre-nursing but we'll see how it goes we'll see how I continue especially with all this craziness this year I haven't even been able to like go to school school good so that's been kind of affecting me and then um, applying for the nursing program I needed to take this test and it got cancelled because of everything that's going on so we'll honestly just see how you know where my life leads and everything but that's my major um, next question is what are three words that describe you I don't really know when usually when like because they ask you that like in interviews and stuff like oh how would you describe yourself i always just say that like i'm hard working um if it's something that i really love then i'll really go for it and i'll really try and then um i think i have a very kind heart um i know that that's not something like i don't know you go around saying like oh i'm very kind but i think i do ha i'm very kind hearted and that can be like a weakness and a strength because honestly i get taken advantage a lot for how nice I am and how kind I am and then when I try to speak up for myself like I always end up apologizing which is something that I need to work on myself but um that's something that I would describe myself as the third one I don't know those are the only two I could think of and then the next question is you had a million dollars what's the first thing you'll buy I had a million dollars the first thing that I would do is probably pay off any debt that I have I know that's not buying something but I would just like I think that that's the first thing I would get over with like paying off my car paying off um, any debt that I have in in general and then buying something I think what well, I if I ever get to the point where I have that much money um, I would like to buy my parents a house they've been wanting to buy one for a very long time now and i would buy them a house and then after i buy them a house i would buy myself a house <laughs> that's what i would do most embarrassing moment i think i've said this in another video but i'll just say it again one time i went to hometown buffet with my family 
and like I said I am very I try to help a lot like I try to always be helpful to people so what happened was that my cousins if they ever watch this video they'll just be dying because they always laugh when they think of it but there was this old lady there was this elderly lady and she was carrying her soup and she was like shaking like a lot you know like and she was carrying more than one thing like more than one soup at hometown buffet like how you can grab a bunch of plates and so I went up to her and I asked her like if she needed help and I was like oh do you need help something like blah blah, blah. and then she just yelled at me to get out of her way and like my cousins were there and it was so embarrassing because I was just trying to help her carry her plate and she yelled at me to get out of her way so that is the most embarrassing moment that I've ever gone through and to this day my cousins laugh about it joke about it they'll never forget it Okay, next question. Favorite memory with Michael or in general? Well, since um, you said with, well, since she said with Michael, I think I'd probably just do that. Uh, my favorite memory with Michael is just I've been with him for almost four years, so there's like a lot of memories to go through. I think every time when we had our Disney pass, I think every time we would go to Disney is just like a favorite memory. Like every time we would go, it was just like, it was just so distressing from like work and like school and everything. So just being there like with him was very nice. Um, yeah, it was just like a way to de-stress and like sometimes like when, like I know Disneyland isn't like a faraway place, but I guess like when you travel, like you're not really like, with everything that you have to go through here like in your home like with school work or any other problems that you're having so and even though disney's not like traveling it's just like a way to like get away for a little bit for a couple hours for us so i think every day every time that we would go to disney when we had our pass was a favorite memory of mine um that's the one that can come like to the top of my head right now but we have a lot of favorite memories <clears throat> Next question. My dream job. Um, my dream job was to be a nurse. Um, I still think that that's still a dream of mine. It's still something that I want to pursue. Like I said, right now everything's just weird. So I don't really know how I feel right now. But that is a dream job. But if I would go with an even bigger dream job, I guess. I think it would just be um, beauty influencing in general. Just becoming a beauty influencer. Working from Instagram. Working with brands. Um, working with like just people like I love to be around people like I don't like to deal like at fast food with customers and stuff but I do want to work with something that I surround myself with people obviously with like kind people kind-hearted people um, people who have um, I guess like the same morals as me like I said like I want to be bring positivity like that's all I want to spread I want to spread positivity to other people I want them to be positive towards themselves I want self-care to like become an important thing that everybody does um so I guess just beauty influencing and like being able to be there for other people and maybe change change things that society believes in that I don't think are okay and they shouldn't even be okay but I think just that I guess just working with people something like that and then also like I want to have a lot of time I want to have time to travel I want to have time to do things because I've never really traveled I've never really done anything much so I want to be able to travel and to go out and to have time and if one day like I have the opportunity to like have kids and have a family like I want to have time for them so I guess just a job that will also give me a lot of time for sure Okay, the next question is, what's your favorite ice cream? I don't really like, like, a specific, like, weird flavor. I think I'm pretty basic when it comes to ice cream. I honestly just like chocolate ice cream. Um, another favorite is Rocky Road, but it's, like, chocolate, too. So, I guess Rocky Road would be my favorite ice cream. For, yeah. But at Baskin Robbins, they have this one. I think it's called, like, Wild and Reckless, and that one is really good. So, if we're talking about Baskin Robbins, that's my favorite ice cream. But just like in general, it would be Rocky Road. Um, next question is, if you could fix one thing about the world, what would it be? There is so much to fix. 
But I guess one thing that I would fix is, um, I don't know, there's just so much. I guess I'm going to be more general than like a specific topic because being in a specific topic would require like a lot more explanation or something. I think just one thing that I would want to fix is um, there's so much hate in the world, hate towards like other people, hate towards so much stuff. Like there's just so much hate in general and I think that if there wasn't so much hate and there was more love then a lot of things could be better i think if people would just care about other people like care about their lives like despite who they are or anything um i think things could be a little different at least and i don't know if that's kind of naive to say but i think i think so and i stand by that so if i could fix one thing it would be that <clears throat> Which do you prefer, Instagram or Twitter, and why? Uh, I guess I'm gonna say Instagram. I was gonna say Twitter, but honestly, um, sometimes I get really mad with what people put on Twitter. Like people are really like say some dumb stuff sometimes, where I'm just like, what? Like, but Instagram, I think, is more like. Um, no, like on Twitter people can be really mean too and I think Instagram is like they're not that mean I guess I don't know why but I guess like Twitter like people just get away with saying anything and on Instagram it's not like that I think there's more positivity at least for the people that I follow I see more positivity um so I would say Twitter because sometimes it is more funny but I'm gonna stick with Instagram this time um what's your favorite thing about yourself and least favorite uh, my favorite thing about myself, I don't know, okay, I guess my favorite thing about myself would be, I don't know, I guess like, my eyebrows, I, I, I was gonna do something like more like, not physical but i think i'm just gonna say my eyebrows um i don't really have to fill them in i only do it sometimes now because i kind of got used to doing my eyeshadow and when i do them to me it looks weird if i don't do my eyebrows but like even if i don't do them i they're still pretty full and stuff so i guess i would say my eyebrows my favorite thing my least favorite thing i think would be um um i let people take advantage of me a lot like I don't really speak up for myself that much. I'm trying to do better in that. But like I said, even when I do it, I still like end up apologizing and stuff. So um, I guess that's my least favorite thing that I let myself too much and I don't really stick up for myself. And I don't give myself enough credit for like the person that I am despite anything. Like um, I want to make people realize that, you know, that self-care is important. But at the same time, like I forget to do that with myself. So I guess that would be my least favorite thing. I don't give myself enough credit and I don't stick up for myself that much. So that would be that. And I'm very like, um, like, I always think that like other people are better than me. And like, you're not supposed to think that way and stuff. And I don't try to, but just like seeing other people sometimes or like any situation, like I'll just, I'll like degrade myself a little bit and be like, oh, well, I'm not this and that and like. That's my favorite. That's my least favorite thing about myself. The fact that I do that to myself. So that would be that. Um, what are your career plans? So I already um kind of said it, but I'll just say it again. So um, I really do want to keep pursuing beauty influencing. I really do want to keep up with my videos. I know I haven't posted in a long time, so that's why today's April first, and I wanted to start the month good with the recording a video it probably won't be up today today but doing that so beauty influencing for sure and then um i still want to pursue nursing um so we will see how that works out next one favorite makeup brand um well i guess if i would only have to shop at one store like well because store has different brands though i really like nars i like their foundation a lot that's the kind of the only thing that i've tried and their lipsticks but their lipsticks are pretty pricey but everything is but their foundation is my favorite i don't think i'll ever switch up on that foundation um i have a lot of other ones and i do use them but like one that i will 
keep rebuying and rebuying would be the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear one. I think that's what it's called. That's my favorite. So that, but I do like Morphe a lot. I like, like their eyeshadow palettes, blush palettes, um, brushes. So I guess if I would say favorite, I guess it would be Morphe. Favorite makeup artist. Okay, um, I've never really been one to watch a lot of, like, a lot of YouTube um, people. I kind of just watch a couple every now and then, just because I don't really have that much time. Um, but one girl that I do watch a lot is, her name's Roxette, and she does makeup, and she does, like, vlogs and stuff as well. But she's my favorite. I think that there's, like, so many, I've just seen so much drama with, like, makeup people like makeup artists like online and stuff and like i've never seen any drama with her because i think she's like so down to earth um you never really know a person but i just really think that through her videos like you can see how kind-hearted she is how like real she is how like caring she is and funny and like if i would like choose one person to me like one makeup artist to me it would be her so she's my favorite and i do watch her videos constantly so Roxette, I think her last name is Arisa, like Roxette Arisa. I don't know if I pronounce it right, but um, she's my favorite. What is, wait, wait, next one. Um, how well do you and Michael know each other? I think I know him pretty well. Um, I spend a lot of time with him. We talk every day. Um, I know when he's upset. I know when he's happy. I know when his tone of voice changes like after you spend so much time with the person i think you just pick up on every little detail about them and every little thing that they do and like react to like you just know so i think i know him pretty well um i don't know what he would say but i think i know him pretty well um how have you been taking care of your mental health during quarantine I haven't really felt like I'm on quarantine because I've been working and I still go to work because I right now I've been working at a grocery store so they're not gonna close ever um, so I haven't really felt it honestly um, I have been doing this thing every night where I write in a notebook and I'll kind of just like write like I guess kind of like my thoughts in a way down um, if I were home though I would probably try to like read more, um, try to like do more skincare, like um, face mask and stuff. Um, I don't know, just like do stuff like that. But I haven't really felt like I'm on it, like in quarantine because I've been working. And I actually have worked today at three, so I haven't really felt it. But I think that's very important because I think if I were to be home all the time, I would probably get like really like sad because like having no like connection with other people at all is like it's a very important to have like connections with other people and like like talk to other people it's very very important like it's like very, like it's proven to like even like increase your life if you're like surrounded by positive people but i haven't really felt it honestly so i guess i can't really answer that question that well um what is your after hair after shower hair routine so every time after I wash my hair, I'll use a split end mender from Monet. And then after that, I use um, the Kids Detangler because it smells so good. So I also use the Monet Skin, um, the Monet Kids Detangler. So I'll use the split end mender and then I'll leave that on for a minute. And then, well, 60 seconds. And then I after that, I'll use the, the detangler, the Kids Detangler. And then after that, like, it kind of depends. If I'm going to blow dry my hair, I have a blowout cream from Monet as well. So I'll use that. And, yeah, even if I don't blow dry my hair, sometimes I will put it on. Like, if I'm going to go out and, like, it's sunny because it'll protect me from the heat there as well. And it even just cuts the drying time in half, like, in general. So that's my, um, my hair routine after, every single time after I shower. And I'll go through, like, more products other times, but... I guess like a consistent one that's every every time I do wash my hair, it would look like that. Um, what is your number one product for your hair if you could only use one ever again? That's a hard one. Um, I'm not going to include like shampoo and conditioner because like you need that like 
but I'm gonna go more with like things that you use after. So if I could go, if I had to choose just one, so my favorite one, it would really be the split and mender because not only does I, do I feel like it makes my hair um, softer, I feel like it also like takes away frizz and it helps my split ends. So it's like three things in one. So honestly, that would be the product that I could not like live without. Like I'll keep rebuying and rebuying. And if I could only pick one, it would probably be that one. How do you stay motivated? This one's actually really hard for me. Um, I actually waste a lot of time when I do have time. I'm a huge procrastinator. I watch a lot of TV like shows. I just like, um, me personally, when I have anxiety, um, I watch TV because it's like, I guess I kind of just push it away and I'll be like, instead of thinking of my own thoughts, I'm like listening to something. So like it won't be like I'm thinking about something. It's like I'm listening to a show so I'm not really thinking. So I'm like a huge procrastinator and I do watch a lot of TV because of that. Um, but I guess the way that I've been trying to stay motivated right now is I, I surround myself with girls like that are very like they like their goal seekers like they follow their goals they follow their dreams um when i started working with the company i surrounded myself with girls who just like care for me so much who are always like messaging me and pushing me to keep moving forward and i started writing down a lot of stuff so like i started writing down what i want to do throughout the day and if it's not like all done by the day like i don't feel satisfied so i think that's something that's helped me stay motivated like surrounding myself with people like that and also writing everything I want to get done in a day and doing it. So like I know that like I was productive. So I guess that's something that keeps me motivated. Another thing that I would think that keeps me motivated is just I guess just my goals. Like they have helped like setting goals for myself has helped keep me motivated because now like instead of just pushing for something like and finding something, I know what I'm pushing forward for. I know what I want to reach like I know exactly what it takes to get there so I think all of that keeps me motivated but I was not like this before I'm like I said I'm to this day like I still procrastinate over a lot of stuff but I've been trying to get better at that when this new year started I tried to like change that so that's what's helped me keep stay motivated if you guys have tips that keep you motivated things that you guys do please let me know Next question is, what's your favorite comfort meal slash food? Um, I love chips a lot, like a lot. Like I can go without sweets, cookies, ice cream, all of that. I can like leave like no problem. But chips, that's my weakness. Like giving up chips is hard. And it's not even just like one chip. Like I love chips in general. Like I'll eat Cheetos, the the hot ones i'll eat the cheese ones too um the puffs i like the puffs with tapatio um i like lays like i just love chips so i guess well that's like a snack i guess comfort meal though um i really like like the the sopa like marucha like i don't know how you guys say it that's how we say it we say like sopa marucha and stuff um that's what it's called though but I really like those like they are so bad for you but like if I'm just hungry and like and I just want to eat something and there's one of them like I'll like get it like I really like them and then just like french fries too like I love french fries as well I guess just potatoes too like in general but I guess that would be my comfort meal I don't know I've actually never thought about that but I guess if I had to say something it'd be that uh next question is how old are you I'm 19. I turned 20 this year in September. Um, yeah, that's how old I am. Um, what does your day look like? So usually my days are kind of different. Like, it honestly like depends. Like, no day is like a routine that's like set every single day. I think every day has a different routine. Um, but I guess if I would kind of choose like one that's more consistent, would probably be like, I'll go to work. Um, I'll come home. I'll like do a couple stuff that I have to do errands or anything and then most of the time like I do go and hang out with my boyfriend so that's kind of like my routine um okay two more questions and then I answered all of them wow 
Okay, the next question is, what foundation do you use and contour? Um, I don't really contour. I do use a bronzer and like I just use a, it's from Morphe. It's called um, Cellubate, Cellu something like that. But that's what I use just for bronzer. And all their bronzers are nice, so Morphe bronzers are really nice. Um, and then foundation, I said it, it's the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear. That's my favorite foundation in the world. I've been using it for, I think, like about two years now, and I still rebuy it when I finish it. I do try other ones, like I have some drugstore ones that I actually do like a lot too. I actually plan on making a video where I try more drugstore foundations, but I guess like my favorite all-time, doesn't matter, drugstore or high-end, would be the NARS one so definitely like I always recommend that to anybody who's looking for a high-end foundation and it's very nice so that's my favorite foundation okay the last question is I'm like running out of breath um the last question is how did you get your channel started and she said you're so beautiful by the way um so her name is uh, Brisa I hope I say that right but on Instagram and she's so beautiful too. You're so beautiful. I hope you watch my video and you see this. So thank you for that. And um, how did I get my channel started? So I've actually been wanting to do a channel for, I honestly can say like about maybe like two years and a half. I barely started last year, like in the middle. I think I started like in August of last year. Um, I haven't been very consistent with my videos because a lot of things do get in my way. And I needed to prioritize my things and I want this to become a priority. So this definitely will be, um, there will definitely be more videos soon. Um, that's why I wanted to do these questions because I feel like I haven't really presented myself. So here I am presenting myself. But yeah, so I wanted to do it about two years ago, um, two and a half years ago. And my boyfriend had actually just bought a camera. So it was like the perfect time. But I'm very shy and I get very shy and I couldn't do the videos with him so I wouldn't really do them with him because I didn't know what to do, how to act and I feel like I needed to figure it out by myself first before I like got comfortable to do it in front of anyone honestly like even my mom I'll get like embarrassed with but so I went to buy my own camera and I would record some videos, never post them record some more and never post them and then finally I did a video with him and it was different because it was with him it wasn't like he was just filming me so I did a video with him and that's when I decided like you know I'm just gonna go into it even if I don't like the videos or I don't think I, my makeup look was that good or I don't think this and that I just went for it I just posted it and I'm still gonna keep doing that because I feel like I second guess myself way too much and Sometimes you just have to take a leap and you just have to go in and you just have to do it because it can honestly be like such a blessing just because you see all the flaws that you have and all the flaws that you maybe did and whatever you're talking about or you think you didn't sound that good or this and that. Um, other people don't really see it that way and if they do they're honestly just like haters but I've, I've realized that other people don't even notice half the time that you mess up a word or you mess up this or you mess up that like Half the time people don't even notice, um, they just watch for you and they care for you and honestly I think everybody that watches my videos are people who are close to me, who care for me and at the end of the day, you know, um, just take a leap, just go for it. So that's how I started, that's why I started telling myself and yeah, so far I haven't really posted that much but like I said, I want to post more and I'll get to it and yeah, so that's how I started. And I always, like I said, I always knew I wanted to do something with beauty as well. Even if it's just like a side thing, I always knew that I wanted to do something with it. So I decided to start my, my YouTube channel. And just make sure there's no more. Okay, yeah. So those are all the questions that I was asked. Again, thank you to everybody that asked me a question because I really didn't think I was going to have that many questions to answer. So I didn't even know how long this video would be. But um, thank you again to everyone that asked me those questions. It means a lot to me that even like just asking questions, like I feel is like supporting me because you like give me stuff to talk about. So thank you to everyone again. Um, the next video, I don't really know what it's going to be. I don't even know what I want to do yet. But definitely like I'm going to, keep the momentum of it stay consistent so 
um, yeah, watch out for my next video. Keep a lookout for that. And I hope everybody stays safe with everything that's going on. Um, I hope that you guys aren't really that scared because I think that like fear is a thing that you should not have. I think you just need to be precautious, you know, do what the do what they're saying, like wash your hands, stay home as much as you can, don't be around like too many people, um, don't go out unless you really need to, all of that stuff, like I think you guys should all like of course be doing. So again, like I hope everybody is safe out there, I hope everyone's okay, and I hope that everything that's going on isn't affecting you um, like terribly. I know that some people don't have jobs and um, so I really hope that this ends soon so we can just get back to our normal lives and everything. And I hope, I honestly hope that when we come out of this, we appreciate everything more. Not only our lives and everything, but just maybe like hanging out with your loved ones. Um, going outside, like going to all these places, even like restaurants, like appreciating everything more. Um, everything. Um... I do think one thing, like if you are going to go get food, I think that you guys should go buy from like small little businesses, like business owned restaurants, um, at least for takeout because obviously that's the only thing you can do right now. But if you guys really have to get food, I honestly suggest that you guys do that because they do depend like a lot on right now. I'm pretty sure like not pretty sure. I know that they're getting hit really hard from everything that's going on. So um, I encourage you guys to do that, to take like a day of the week where you guys go and buy food from like a family owned business or something just for takeout and you take it home and that's it so yeah I definitely like encourage you guys to do that me and my boyfriend have been trying to do that on Tuesdays because I don't know who he said to do like who he said that said that someone like famous or something but said that like you guys should do takeout Tuesday and he mentioned it to me and ever since then like I thought that was such a good idea so next Tuesday we're planning on I don't know where yet or which um which family owned business we want to go to get but um we'll figure it out but I, I encourage you guys to all do that um support local businesses if you can in any way that you can and yeah so i hope you guys all stay safe and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and maybe got to know me a little bit better and yeah so stay tuned for my next video and thank you guys all for watching bye